Hola amantes del español, soy la profesora Vanessa y hoy les voy a explicar el significado de to ask en español según el contexto. Muy bien, so to ask can be translated as preguntar o pedir, again, according to the context. So when we use preguntar, preguntar is when we are looking for information, right? That is when we use the word preguntar or when preguntamos algo. And pedir is when we want something. So preguntar, you can say that could be to ask. And pedir is actually to ask for. Okay. Now let's see the difference. Let's see some examples. Preguntar. For example, when you say ella preguntó por Manuel, that means that someone asked for Manuel. For example, that person asks, ¿Cómo está Manuel? ¿Dónde está Manuel? Or maybe, ¿Qué está haciendo Manuel? How is he? Where is he? What is he doing? You know? So when you say that phrase, ella preguntó por Manuel, is because someone actually asked a question about Manuel, to know something, to know information about Manuel. En pedir, for example, when someone says, ella pidió dinero, that means that someone asked for money, all right? It didn't, see, that person didn't ask a question. To look for, informa for information, that person maybe asked a question, but to ask for something, all right? For example, podrías darme dinero? That's a question, but I'm not looking for information. I'm looking for you to do something for me or that person to do something. Quiero dinero por esto. Again, this is a statement, but you are asking for money, right? O simplemente, very straightforward, dame dinero, give me money. Okay, another example. Los niños preguntan mucho. It means, which is, a, this is very true. Uh, kids ask a lot of questions. They ask a lot of questions. So, for example, kids can ask, ¿Ya llegamos? ¿Por qué el cielo es azul? ¿Cómo se hacen los bebés? Meaning, are we there yet? Why is the sky blue? How are babies made? You know, they just ask a lot of questions. They are very curious. But when we say los niños piden mucho, that means that they ask for a lot of things, not a lot of questions, but they ask for a lot of things. They, or they want a lot of things. For example, quiero un helado. So now the kids are asking for an helado. I want an ice cream. Quiero ir a Disneyland. I want to go to Disneyland. Now they're asking for a trip, very expensive trip. And quiero comer. I want to eat. So here, as you can see, with pedir, they are actually asking for something. And with preguntar, they're asking a question or asking questions. Another example, slightly different. He preguntado a mi madre si puedo ir a la fiesta. I have asked my mother if I can go to the party. So here you are saying that you are you actually asked a question to your mother. And the question is, ¿puedo o podría? Eh, ¿Puedo es a little more informal? ¿Podría es a little more formal? ¿Ir a la fiesta? Could I go to the party? And now here, he pedido permiso a mi madre para ir a la fiesta. I have asked for permission to my mother to go to the party. In this in the sentence, you could also say, he pedido a mi madre permiso para ir a la fiesta. So both words are correct. He pedido permiso a mi madre o he pedido a mi madre permiso para ir a la fiesta. And again, that means that you ask the question, ¿Puedo o podría ir a la fiesta? So what is the difference here? Because you know, it's pretty much the same sentence. Not exactly, if you look at it closely. So here, I'm asking for something. He pedido permiso a mi madre, or he pedido a mi madre permiso. You're still asking for something, which is the permission of your mother. Now, en preguntar, you're just asking someone a question, an actual question. He preguntado a mi madre si puedo ir a la fiesta, so that if, I can go to the party, means that you ask an actual question. 
and with pedir, that means that you are emphasizing the fact that you ask for something, which is permission, all right? And another uh, example, he preguntado al profesor, for example, si necesita ayuda. Again, you ask an actual question. If he needs help, necesita ayuda. Ahora aquí, el profesor me ha pedido un favor. The teacher has asked me for a favor. All right, he has asked me for a favor. ¿Podrías traer la escalera? So, we have this different here again. You have asked for something. El profesor me ha pedido un favor. That something. The teacher has asked me for a favor. Okay. And, and the example with preguntar, that means that he asked, or you want to emphasize that he asked an actual question. He preguntado al profesor if he needs help. Right. Yeah. Now, when you want to ask a question, or they say like, can I ask a question? This is here. Puedo preguntar algo. The word preguntar or the verb, but actually these are verbs. The verb preguntar means to ask a question, right? Or that's the most similar translation, right? To ask a question. So puedo preguntar algo already means can I ask something? All right, or can I ask a question? Uh, meaning a question, no? it's, it's, it's implied that you are asking for a question or that you want to ask a question. Puedo hacer una pregunta. Can I, well, can I ask a question here? Hacer, as you probably know, hacer, if you just translate it, one of the meanings of hacer is to do or to make. But in this case, it means to ask. We don't, uh, well, I'm going to explain that later. But right now, we just say, can I ask a question means, puedo hacer una pregunta. Like I said, this is context, OK? Uh, depends on the context. So in this context, hacer means to ask. Puedo hacer una pregunta. Can I ask a question? Luego tenemos pedir. Pedir is to actually request something. Uh, for example, pásame la sal, por favor. Pass me the salt, please. Or, ¿podrías venir más temprano? Could you please arrive earlier? Just a request. You are asking someone to do something for you. You're not really emphasizing the question. You are asking someone to do something for you. Okay? And what you don't do, what we don't ask, what is incorrect is to say, ¿Puedo preguntar una pregunta? ¿Puedo preguntar una pregunta? No. We never use that. It is incorrect to say, ¿Puedo preguntar una pregunta? A tip about Spanish. We don't like repeating. That's why we have so many ways to say the same thing. We usually have like two or three or five, four or five, ten ways to say the same thing because we don't like repeating. So, ¿Puedo preguntar una pregunta? Sounds redundant to us. So that's why we prefer to say, puedo preguntar algo, o puedo hacer una pregunta. Okay? Well, eso es todo por hoy. That's all for today. I hope it was useful. Please leave in the comments if you have any questions, any doubts, any words that you'd like me to explain. Also, go and visit my website where for more free material to practice. You can also join my membership to get a customized study plan and much, much more. You will have a seven day free trial if you join with the links in the description. Muchas gracias. Adios.